This is the largest automated ridge truck site in the world, not just for Toyota, but for any manufacturer. Putting the automation in literally was a life changer for us. Delivering this project through a pandemic was immense. The vision for the park is to offer bespoke solutions to the drinks industry to make sure that we can tailor our offering to our customers. And we want to be absolutely first class with that. It's 1.2 miles to walk around. We've got the largest onshore wind turbine producing over half of the electricity that's here. There's 1,200 bottles of wine being filled every minute. In a day, a million bottles of wine are filled at this facility. It's then got a workforce that's incredibly passionate about what we do. So it's a pretty special place here in Bristol. The relationship with Toyota actually goes back to when this site was built. And we went out and every single part of our process or equipment was fully tendered. Toyota have a number of times won out across the range of criteria that we look at. When you look at Toyota and all their origins that are over in Japan with, with how they approach continuous improvement, we've got a huge amount of synergies between the two business. And I think that's why the partnership is so strong between us. The site wanted to get some efficiencies. They knew the problems we were going to have with labour two or three years ago before we came into the pandemic. One of the problems that they wanted to get rid of was an ageing demographic workforce and a shortage of labour. One of the solutions that we put to them was to integrate automation into their business. Before automation, it was obviously all manual. You've got people taking breaks, holidays, sickness, absence, etc. You can't manage that all the time. With automation, that brings a steady, consistent number of move tasks that each AGV can hit. So therefore, as a business, we know exactly what our throughput can be. And as part of the project, we ensured we purchased enough AGVs to enable our production lines to run 24-7, 365 days a year. During the project implementation stage, we encountered small issues around sensors and the environment that the trucks were working in. And it was really key that we kind of resolve them as soon as possible, together with our factory to supply new components, get them fitted and then tested on site. There's a lot of little things that we've had to tweak for the park, yeah. The shuttle solution, very bespoke. WMS integration. Safety-wise, we've enhanced the load handling so that when we handle the double stacks of glass, we have additional guards in place to deal with the top pallet if it obviously shifts or moves in transport. We have slightly longer forks to handle the pallets out because of the shuttle racking, so we can reach in further. We're fully integrated with all manual traffic on site. We follow the direction of travel, give all sorts of indications to the operator if we're going to turn or we're going to stop, so that they obviously are fully aware of what the AGV intends to do. And that's how great the customer service is with Toyota. We've identified a problem, we've worked together, and Toyota have delivered exactly what we've needed. The pandemic taught us a lot of lessons and it actually upskilled our workforce locally because we had to take on additional responsibilities and we're now you know, better for it because we're able to deliver many aspects of the project just from a UK perspective. With the automated fleet coming in, we decided as a business to have two Toyota engineers on site who do all of the service and all of the repairs of the trucks as and when needed. The engineers become part of the park, you know, to a point where even though they work for Toyota, they, they ultimately also work for the park. That's where we find the most success because then the customer trusts the engineers. By that, then the client trusts us. Small issues can be solved really quickly with those guys and they're always kind of there to back us up and help us get over the line with many issues. As part of the handover package, we offer a full and complete training programme the very basic stuff, but to real high-end level as well. We have 400 people on site. Each one of those has had a AGV awareness training course. And around 160 of those are actually operatives on the shop floor. They've had an extended training course to upskill them and ensure that they're working safely. 
it's very clear proof that you know automation doesn't necessarily have to mean loss of workforce loss of jobs loss of livelihoods so i think we've taken a very forward looking progressive view here about what happens to a person whose job is replaced with automation So ultimately, we've got a project that's going to pay back in just over two years. It's improved our stock accuracy. We have less damage around the facility. There are just numerous metrics of where this project has been a success. I think the biggest change for my management team is now they've got the guarantee of moving 1.2 million pallets annually. On an annual basis, the savings are over a million pounds a year. I think the park is poised for big growth. Automation that we have now, automation that we will invest in in the future, will be a key enabler to that growth. What automation brings is standardisation. It brings alignment. It takes out waste processes. What we've implemented today is only the start. We've automated about five or six of our processes in the warehouse. There are some others that, that will require an advancement in, in automation technology, but I think we now have a partner and a vision and a way of working that will enable us to keep that growth with Toyota in the coming years.